I, I've been watching, watching, and waiting, and then finally everybody was gone, and the buildings were kind of like starting to um, age a little bit. And um, the, the, the timing was good because the previous owner, he was anxious to get out. He would be what you would call a motivated seller, I guess. So we, we made a deal on this, the, this Mama Maria's building, and then on the bank building, which is now the coffee trap. But what was interesting then, the, 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 the building next to the coffee trap, the green building, used to be the Trap Family Restaurant. They decided they wanted to sell too. So I figured, well, I'll buy that also in case I need more parking, because I know parking was a problem. And then, sure enough, the word must have spread some crazy old man was buying up real estate. So the, 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 the house and the four unit apartment right across the street, all of a sudden they came on the market. So um, I negotiated the deal and I bought those two. And then the Moore building, which is the 15,000 square foot office building, which has been sitting empty for like 10 years, um, they were motivated to sell it. So I went ahead and I, I purchased that. And then I brought in Wes Schumann and Ray Bergman as partners in, in that. Uh, and we've totally renovated that building. And I'm happy to announce that Habitat for humanity is in the process of moving in right now and they're going to take half of the building. Uh, there's 24 townhouse lots that I also bought <laughs> that came along with the office building, the Moore building. So um, so that's something that uh, Wes and uh, Ray and I are talking about maybe starting up next year. So we, we will add some residential units, some nice affordable housing to the town trap. My vision has uh, is influenced heavily by what's going to happen on the other side of Route 50, the lakeside community. I've been, I've been working with um, the developer and um, the out-of-town builder. They're going to start probably in January, and it's a long-term project. It'll be really good for the county. Um, there's going to be five neighborhoods, different types of housing, some affordable, some rental, some uh, for sale, uh, some small commercial areas. And I just want to make sure that the town of Trap doesn't lose its identity to the lakeside community, which will get a lot of national press, and it'll probably be the growth area for Talby County for the next 10 years. So I want to make sure the town preserves its identity and maybe even um, uh, creates some new identity, too. Uh, and we seem to be doing that. We're bringing in traffic to the town right now. And there's, if you start driving east on Route 50 once you get out of east and there's nothing until you get across the bridge into Cambridge. So now there's a place where you can get a nice breakfast or a healthy lunch, salads. We have uh, mimosas and Bloody Marys for breakfast and lunch over there. And then we have a full dinner menu starting at four o'clock here. We were doing catering now. We have probably the best pizza around now. Um, so, you know, we have something for everybody. Yeah, and I try my best to be here every night that we're open and go around to every table and find out where people are from and whether they had a good experience. And I kid them, I say, well, if you had a good time and the food was good and the service was good, then I'm the owner. Otherwise, I just stopped in for a drink. Yeah, I mean, people say, we got vibe. You know, I, I never really heard of the use of the word vibe, but I can't tell you how many people say, this place has vibe, you got vibe going. I said, man, that's good, I like it. You know, and the other thing is how popular it became and how appreciative the people are that we opened it up. I mean, before I get a chance to thank them for coming, most of the times they're thanking me for opening it up in here. And I, I've never had a business like that, you know. <laughs>